Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav Kulecha and I welcome you to this channel. In this video, we are discussing, I am continuing with the Dhammapada verses, uh, my learnings, uh, reading the Dhammapada verses and my learnings. From that, I am using, for my reading, I am using this book. Uh, this is the Dhammapada by Eknath Ishwaran. This is a very good book and uh, it is available on Amazon, etc. So, you can purchase this book, right? Okay, so... Uh, uh, so we start with chap uh, with uh, verse 101, right? Uh, so there is a full Dhammapad playlist. Uh, you, know, you can go in playlists and there's a full playlist on Dhammapad which is available. So verse-wise, every video I take some 20 verses and uh, I will take them. So here we'll co co cover like 101 to 120, right? So let us start. Uh, so 100 and 101 are linked. 100, 101, 102 are linked. So... Uh, it says, better than a speech, uh, the Buddha says, better than a speech of a thousand vain words is one thoughtful word which brings peace to the mind. Better than a poem of a thousand vain verses is one thoughtful line which brings peace of mind, peace to the mind. Better than a hundred poems of vain stanzas is one word of the dharma that peace to the mind. So my view here is that what Buddha is trying to say is don't do too many things. Right? Only focus on what is important, what is essential. So, when we hear things, rather than he hearing or watching too many serials or this and that, every day let us spend whatever time that we have towards the dharma. So, the, the here Buddha is, you know, trying to bring the importance of dharma, the things that matter most in our goal. Right? So, uh, then 103, 104, 105, it says, uh, Buddha says, one who conquers himself is greater than another who conquers a thousand times, a thousand men on the battlefield. How beautiful. We have to conquer ourselves. That is far more important than all the other conquests. What we do is that we spend our time and effort in our life on all the other conquests of money, power, prestige, relationships, so many other things. And forgetting that our conquest on this mind is the biggest conquest that we make. Be victorious over yourself and not over others. When you attain victory over yourself, not even the gods can turn it into defeat. Right? So, not even the gods can turn it into a defeat. Right? So, let that be our primary goal. Right? Okay. 106, 107. Better than performing a thousand rituals month by month for a hundred years is a moment's homage to the one living in wisdom. Better than tending the sacrificial fire, sacrificial fire in the forest for a thousand years is a moment's homage to one living in wisdom. So, uh, we, sp we spend a lot of time doing the rituals and austerities and practices. Uh, so, in the religions, you know, a lot of things are said. They do this thing and do that thing and, you know, we... We spend a lot of, waste a lot of time in doing that. Buddha says, all that you do is nothing as compared to a moment's homage to the one living in wisdom. That means recognizing someone who is living in wisdom or practicing the wisdom and following the teachings. In our case, it is the Buddha. So Buddha is not, Buddha is not dead. Buddha, Buddha is, in, is in the teachings, right? So just be focused on the teachings. Buddha is in our meditation. So be focused on our meditation. Be focused on our mindfulness. Right? So as Thai says, the Buddha seed is in all of us. So being in touch with that Buddha seed even for a moment is better than making thousands of austerities or penances or rituals. Right? Uh, so this is what uh, Buddha is trying to say here. This is my limited perspectives. You will get your perspective as you do the reading. Uh, verse 108, 109. Making gifts and offerings for a whole year to earn merit is not worth a quarter of the honor paid to the wise. To those who honor the wise and follow them, four gifts will come in increasing measure. Health, happiness, beauty and long life. Right? So, gifts, making gifts, making offerings, all these things, the merit that you want, that, that people tell you that you will get merit from doing this and that. Instead of that, start focusing on honoring the wise the wise, the bodhi, the bodh buddhas and the bodhisattvas and the learned people who, who are teaching us the path of the dharma, 
honoring them honoring their knowledge honoring their service to the community and the world is much better than all the other things 110 111 112 113 this is linked so buddha says better to live in virtue and wisdom for one day than to live a hundred years with an evil and undisciplined mind better to live in goodness and wisdom for one day than to lead an ignorant and undisciplined life for a hundred years better to live in strength and wisdom for one day than to lead a weak and idle life for a hundred years better to live in freedom and wisdom for one day than to lead a conditioned life of bondage for 100 years so again buddha is highlighting the importance of living the right life living in virtue living in wisdom living in mindfulness not living in the ignorant and undisciplined life that we have been living right how important is that buddha is trying to show it through like a comparison 100 104 115 one day's glimpse of the deathless state is better than a hundred years of life without it one day's glimpse of dharma is better than a hundred years of life without it yes so that is how important doing our practices our meditation is one moment of seeing that deathless state right we, we, that is better than a hundred years of life just roaming around in thoughts right our mind lost in thoughts one day's glimpse of dharma is better than a hundred years of life without it right okay so this is uh, till 115 we have done now we come to 116 here buddha is actually talking about the importance of urgency of doing the good work we have limited time left right in previous verses also buddha has said that we have limited time our body is decaying one day body will not be more will not be any more so stop chasing wrong things stop uh, uh, in in gro- engrossing ourselves in sense pleasures and start focusing on what is needed so verse 116 buddha says hasten to do good refrain from evil if you neglect the good evil can enter into enter your mind so again go back to the earlier verse initially when we discussed about the uh, wealth thatched roof, roof wealth thatched hut versus an ill thatched hut passions can enter in ill thatched hut but passions cannot enter in a well thatched hut again there was a, a verse that we discussed earlier where buddha asked to make the mind as a fortress right make the mind as a fortress so that enemies cannot enter so who are the enemies enemies are all the objects objects outside us which enter us through the senses ears nose uh mouth right ears nose mouth and uh, touch right so all these senses through these senses over latent tendencies get activated so we have to guard ourselves hasten to do good make you know if you plan to do a good good thing a good act do it early right don't wait generally what we do we hasten to do evil and then we wait for doing the good and then that time of doing good never comes right so buddha says this is like buddha is taking us against our normal way of how our mind is you know uh, conditioned till now that we hasten evil attracts us and good is not interesting now buddha says do the opposite consciously hasten to do good refrain from evil right buddha is basically helping us change the tracks in our the grooves that are created in our unconscious mind buddha is helping us change those grooves otherwise if we remain stuck in those grooves we will continue you know the karmic cycle will continue we will keep on doing the same and same thing and the results will be same and same thing right okay 117118 if you do what is evil do not repeat it or take pleasure in making it a habit an evil habit will cause nothing but suffering if if you do what is good keep repeating it and take pleasure in making it a habit a good habit which causes nothing but joy so who are we we are basically creatures of our tendencies right our tendencies drive us into doing things and then over time then we when, then you know the groove becomes stronger the the more we do a particular thing the groove in our unconscious mind becomes stronger and stronger so for example if i drink alcohol once then at twice and at thrice then the groove becomes stronger and stronger and then alcoholism becomes a habit 
and then it gets passed from generation to generation also right so buddha says if you do what is evil do not repeat right if once you do okay no problem don't repeat it and don't take pleasure in making it a habit evil habit will con- will cause nothing but suffering if you do what is good keep repeating it so that the new grooves get, get created and accordingly see it's all about habits creating good habits and desisting from wrong habits desisting from wrong habits is not easy because those patterns breaking those patterns requires a lot of effort but once the good habits are created it offsets the negative habits so we have to work towards increasing the good habits 119 and 120 this we will discuss this and we'll close this video evil doers may be happy as long as they do not reap what they have sown but when they do sorrow overcomes them the good may suffer as long as they do not reap what they have sown but when they do joy overcomes them so basically here buddha is trying to say is that there is a time lag between the action and the consequence right the karma the law of karma that operates it does operate but there is a lack of there is a time which is which cannot be defined it, de- it depends on various factors and it is very very complex so we cannot prescribe that i do x action and there will be a y result no in this much time it it doesn't work like that so an evil doer is happy as long as they do not reap what they have sown once they know see the consequences they start seeing the consequences then then they get the sorrow but the good they will keep suffering till the good shows its results but when it starts showing the results they will be very ha- very happy and joy so we have to move towards doing the right deeds the good deeds right okay so this is verse number 101 to 120 that i have covered hope it added some value to you and do uh, do your own reading and you'll get a more better idea um uh, uh, i'll continue in the next video with 121 onwards uh, thank you so much for watching this video if you have any thoughts any feedback any uh, perspectives on the what we have discussed do share in comments thank you so much namo buddhaye namo buddhaye